Martin Corrigan replaced Paul Quinn with Terry Butcher having a virtually full squad and every player desperate to imprint themselves on the manager's consciousness ahead of the cup final. For United, it's a case of clear and present danger. David McCracken replaced the suspended Paul Ritchie in defence. Fit again, Derek McInnes had to settle for the bench. Motherwell prepare for Hamden. Every game from now on in will be a cup final for United. Butcher all too aware Ian McCall's men can lift their game, so the Motherwell gaffer would have been delighted with the early goal supplied by David Partridge. The delivery was good, the header was good, the defending wasn't. United facing an uphill battle again, but it was a battle they were clearly in the mood for. Bad luck, good defending and desperate defending was required to keep them out. Barry Robson's pleas for a corner fell on deaf ears. Half chances and snapshots at the other end. Stephen Cragen's effort troubled the crowd more than the keeper. Ian McCall has vowed to save both United's Premier position and his future at the club. To do so, he'll need his front men to take chances like the one that fell to Stevie Crawford. So many hopes and ambitions rest on his shoulders. With Jason Scotland and James Grady both proving recently they can score, United can still stay up. They will, however, require a better ton of luck. It's fair to say that without bad luck, United wouldn't have had any at all. Alan Archibald suffering, Scott McDonald profiting. And there's nothing a manager can do about these things. McCall helpless as his side sink further behind. For a motherwell side bursting with confidence, that was a signal for them to push for a third. Jim Patterson survived a handball claim. United survived further damage thanks to Tony Bullock. And they had their keeper to thank again for heroics as Motherwell threatened once more. Barry Robson failed to take the chance for a consolation for United, who are still in trouble at the bottom. In the dogfight to escape relegation, McCall will hope his men are Rottweilers. We're not used to scoring early goals, we're used to probably conceding early goals, we're not scoring them, so um, it was nice. But the second goal, at the start of the second half, I think it settled everybody down. I would say Inverness are out, if I know there's four clubs in it. Uh, ourselves, Dundee, uh, Dunfermline and Lummies, and uh, it's a dogfight. So, you know, we've got to get ourselves out of it, and I'm confident we will.